Just a while ago, in late March to be exact, the 25 millionth VW Golf was produced in Wolfsburg. The vehicle was a Golf 5 Sport line with 140 horsepower in tornado red. To honor this car and the company's success in the past, the entire staff was invited to a huge party the first weekend in June of 2007 with loads of attractions. Special treats abounded, and not only for the little guests. For instance, the history of the Golf 1 from 1974 till today. Golf 1 in Südafrika wird dieses tolle Teil übrigens immer noch genauso gebaut wie damals. Dieser 1,4 Liter mit 50 PS Grundausstattung kostet in London. Some 150,000 attended the open house celebration and even got to visit the production site. Here the hall for the molded parts for the oldest attraction, a press from 1948. At the spacious factory premises, visitors showed great interest in the many events offered, and one day was hardly enough. The site was filled with retrospects of the Golf model success stories. Here, the very first Golf 1 is a four-door model, and the first and last Golf GTI in the first series. Here, a Scirocco 1. If you want to be picky, it was actually a Golf. and the second open-top version of the Golf. At the adjacent Autostadt, to go along with the working world, there was also just the right vacation atmosphere for both the kids and adults. A very comprehensive exhibition showed Golf prototypes and regular series models. A super sports car with gull wings and something out of the ordinary. Here at Tehran based on the Golf. Jetta study also with the golf platform and models of the future. Here a bioethanol golf, a sun fuel model, and the famous self-driving robot golf. A big attention grabber, the Golf R32 with gull wings. Almost dreams come true. Like the Cross Golf, you can actually order this one. And the Pirelli Golf, soon to be available once again. Unmistakable with its yellow color and the decorative seams of its leather seats. Or here, the current top model, the R32. In the midst of all these golf models, there was much to see and do. At night, Volkswagen celebrated the 25 millionth golf with a concert in the VW arena. Many VIPs were on hand, each with their own personal golf story to tell. Golf was the car which, after graduation, I drove my girlfriend in for the first time from Bochum to Portugal. When we got back, we had nothing left. No surfboard, no camera, no golf. Everything was stolen. I also bought one once. It still runs. My daughter owns it now. I enjoy driving a Golf since it's a real sound car. I don't need anything fancy with big wheels. If I myself am not too reliable, at least I need a reliable car. Look at my face. I owe it to the Golf that I'm still here today. It has survived a lot and I still drive a Golf today. <laughs> My first golf was a GTD. I took it to Milan, real safe and happy. I stayed one night at a hotel. I took my car radio with me. Then I went down to get into the car. 
guess what? My first car, only two weeks old, was gone. Golfs are so versatile. The hockey gals we love so much drove a golf. The bass player from the heavy metal band drove a golf. He didn't look as nice as the hockey girls. It seemed everyone drove a golf. Thomas Gottschalk hosted the star-studded program featuring Chris DeBerg, Chris Thompson, Paul Carrick, Robin Gibb, and Peter Moffat, who, by the way, received a check for his Children's Foundation. All 26,000 admission tickets were raffled off among the VW employees in Wolfsburg.